there's our new light. Let 1808 be our best year yet. To the tops! To, to the, the tops! tops.
her and Tyler back on. Oh, Bessie. I told you she never let us have fun. What are you talking about? We have fun every day. Keep your potato peeling, Betsy, because we want cotton candy. <laughs> Father would have taken me to the fair. I know, honey, but things are different now. If you won't be a good girl for me, at least try to be a good girl for him. Yes, Mother. Good girl. <laughs> Madam, 
nothing's as fun as it used to be. You can say that again. Nothing's as fun as it used to be.
one, he always comes to meet us. He has been quite himself these days, Miles, but he'll snap right back to life when he sees his boy. And Jesse's running late, I assume? It's been 10 years since we've all seen each other. Miles, another 10 minutes won't kill us. You got that right. Ma, Jesse, my sweet boy, the one who still hugs me. Listen, I have something to tell you. Tell us at the cabin. You know this isn't a safe place to linger. Always great to reunite, Miles. I see you're still playing in trees. I see you still can't take a joke. Boys, you were telling me something? All right, you know how you say good things come in small packages? Well, Hello. not yet. We climbed a tree. I saw the top of my house. It was great. She followed me here. Can we keep her? A child? I always knew this day would come, that someone would discover us, but a child? I thought you said they'd like me. She's not just a child. She's my friend. Jackie, please tell me your friend doesn't know anything about the, you know, water. Oh, boy. Jessie! You told her about the water? This isn't my fault. It never is. Ma, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Unfortunately, yes. Please know that as a mother, I do not approve of what we're about to do. Hope you're in good. 
good move. Jesse, what have you gotten us into this time? Here, Pa. Can I start like that? Start like that. Be patient with me, Winnie. I've never told this before. Once was a man, a man with a wife and a family. That's Miles and me. Jesse, let me tell the story. I don't want to start a war. We tore from the west to settle in the east, looking for a farm or some land at least. Get to the part where I fall from the tree. No, you've got it all wrong! Miles, Jesse. Then we found a wood. Yes, we found a wood. Can you guess which wood? Mine? You're good. Then we found ourselves a clearing and camp for the night. Just the four of us. Plus the cat and the horse. They play a crucial part. Yes, Miles, of course. You can lead a horse to water. That's where you carved the tea. In the morning, in the morning, we had no way of knowing without even thinking. We drank from the spring. Who knew that spring could change everything? Except for the horse, everybody drank, even the cat. Remember that you can lead a horse to water. I think she knows the phrase. So days went by, and then months and years, but the ordinary light appeared. The old horse died at 25. But the cat was still alive. We were changing. We had no way of knowing, nobody was thinking, it's, it's because of the spring. Who knew that spring would change everything? The town began to talk, people shied away, they were so outraged. We had an age, our lives and pious, our looks perverse. But still we didn't know, didn't know the spring was the cause of it, or where'd we sit? On the delicate balance between a blessing and a curse. The cat and the horse, the tea on the tree, the drink that changed us eternally. That's, That's our secret. secret. Keep it locked up tight. I still don't understand. Enough! All right. We're not aging. We're not growing. And none of us know why. Once upon a time, we drank from your spring. 
And now we'll never die. And that's the story of the tux. Then, the spring made us immortal. I have a lot of questions, starting with where's this cat? He's the ultimate stray. Every kitten for 50 miles has his little white paws. How can I be sure you're not just telling me a story? Oh, that part's easy. Ma, where's my rifle? Winnie can shoot me! Oh, Nobody's shooting anybody! Jesse, I need it! I just cleaned! <laughs> Every girl past her prime knows the date and the time she looked 
price you pay, getting what you wanted. One small step outside your door lands you wide awake on an attic floor, not quite what I had bargained for. except the fair. Everywhere? Almost everywhere. The pyramids, the Brooklyn Bridge, the Rio Grande, the Rhine. I've seen the seven wonders of the world. Can't wait for eight and nine. But because of my predicament, my peculiar situation, to keep my profile low, 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 I'm a one-man operation. Jesse, I've got it. You need a partner in crime, someone to share in the view. Am I right? 
That's it. You got it on your first try. Hey, wait a minute. How old are you really? Seventeen, just like you said. Of course. I'm never wrong. And I always quit when I'm on top. That's it, folks. Thanks for coming. Good night, everybody. Yes, good night. Hey, Seventeen, you're not going to let your little friend go home without a prize, now, are you? Have a good prize, girly. You like it? Yes, thank you.
Look who found the comfiest bed in the house. Oh, morning, Mr. Angus. Morning. Did you get any sleep? Uh, not exactly. Morning, Jesse. Do you kids want some breakfast? Uh, I'm fine. So, how was your late night adventure? It was fine. Jesse is being modest. It was the most fun I've had in at least a year. Yeah, Winnie, you cut it out. What? Pa, huh, I did something really stupid. Give yourself some credit, son. You do something really stupid every day. <laughs> pa, take me seriously this time. We snuck out to the fair, and this crazy carney. He saw me. He knows about us. Except, he wasn't crazy. Well, what was he then? He was dangerous and scary. He really does know.
firefly. How to make a pebble skip in rowboat skin. She took Thomas and never said goodbye. The one thing I could never give to him was time. Time. I'm left with nothing. Nothing but Never seen a more promising wood. It'd mean a great, de great deal to you. Let's just get this over with. Look, I want the wood and you want the girl. It's a simple trade. It's blackmail, what it is. Never told a flirt, are you, Granny? You like my suit? Your name will banana! <laughs> Sign here, on the X, and make it legible. Hello? It's just Constable Joe checking in here. And you go! Send them away, none the wiser. I'm warning you both. You have more to lose than I. Darn it, Hugo! If you can't even open a door, how are we expected to close a case? Excellent point, sir. Betsy, how are you? I'm fine, Joe. The whole disappearance turned out to be a false alarm and all, but thank you for checking in. So where's our Winnie, then? My friend here is going to put your home. Well, the suit I recognize, but I don't believe I got your friend's name. Don't you worry about that. Do I look worried? Ask about those papers. Silence, Mosquito! What are those papers? Just a little business transaction. Business to do with the fair, is it? Oh, I'm no longer affiliated with that particular operation. But just moved on. And yet, here you are. Here I am. What sort of business transaction? That's right. What sort of business did you say? I didn't say. Try. We sold him the wood. Really? You sold him tree up wood. After all these decades. Well, neighbor, I suppose I'll be seeing you. I apologize for wasting your time, Joe. Oh, you're never a waste of time, Betsy. Always a pleasure. Come on, Hugo. Done, ladies. That wasn't so hard, was it? Now give me the contract. Not until I have my daughter. Fine. I certainly don't want her. Oh, would you just drop dead already? No. <laughs> Trust in 
yellow hero. Only a robe wears that hue. A man who is fondest of suits that are jaundiced puts the yoke on him and the joke on you. They are tricksy, all men dressed in yellow. Something deadly in their livelihood. He must be compensating, also fabricating. Hugo! There you go again! Fabricating? If he hated the fabric, he wouldn't have bought the suit. Compensating, also lying about why he wants the Foster's Wood. Oh, you can't trust a man dressed in yellow. Man with a wife and a 
sons in the story goes, their beauty frozen like anyone familiar. Or should I take a stab? I have no idea what you're talking about. I know you know where the spring is. Now show it to me. Miles, Tim, this is the man. Hold it right there. Miles, no. This isn't who we are. Give me the gun. My God, it's all of you. The tale come to life just like my granny said. I don't know why I expected something a little more impressive. We just want to live our lives in peace. What is wrong with you people? All you have to do is lead me to the water. And why would we say yes? Here's why. Your knife doesn't scare us. Now it does. Please no, she's just a child. Here. Take it. Just, just let it go. My God, there it is. I'll show you the spring. Take it. Please, just, just let it go.
or is it everlasting? Is it everlasting? Well, here we are, right back where you started. You know what, you know, it doesn't feel like that at all. Just remember, Winnie, you'll always have me to protect you.
Winnie Foster Jackson, cherished wife, devoted mother, and dearest grandmother, expert fisherman. Looks like she led a life we never could. May she rest in peace. I always wondered what she did with the water. <laughs> I 